Yeah, I do stand-up comedy, which is the only thing I've ever done which I've enjoyed and been sort of good at at the same time. Like, but I'm still looking for a job, you know, like a proper, like a proper job. And people say you shouldn't tell people are oh, you looking for a job. It makes you look unprofessional. Like, mate, I've just talked about fucking kissing kids. Like, I'm just not unprofessional <laughs> in my life at all. And I don't give a shit. I'll tell you, I'm, I'm looking for a job, and it's fucking horrible. Like, I, I used to do it online now. The job centre don't give a shit. They just tell you to fuck off. You got to do it all online. Has anyone ever tried to apply for a job online? Oh, it's horrible, isn't it? Just page after page of bullshit. Give us your qualifications. Give us your references. Oh, what are your hobbies? Crying and wanking. I do that quite a lot. Does that count? Like, sometimes simultaneously, you know what I mean? Fucking tears as lube. That's where my fucking life is at the moment. It's like, Jesus. It's like, and then it's got this one question, and all online job applications have this one question where it'll just say, so, tell us more about why you'd like to work for us. I, and I just want to like reach through the screen, right? And just grab the neck of the person who's asking me this and just say, listen, mate, look at me. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. I've been awake for 10 minutes. I've been wearing the same dressing gown for three weeks. My breakfast was Doritos that I ate over the bin because I can't be arsed cleaning the crumbs up. And you're asking me why I really want to work for farm foods! <laughs> Nobody wants to work for farm foods! But you've got to give an answer. You can't just skip it. I've got to sit there with me 10 grand of student debt and be borderline depression and actually type the words. <sighs> As a lifelong user of food, <laughs> I would rush the opportunity to really achieve my potential in a respected and well-known shop like Farmville and eat the money you can't send. <laughs> and never hear back. It's horrible. It's so pointless. Like, have any of you ever heard of Ed's Easy Diner? I, it's this wanky American themed restaurant. I applied for the job with them once. No words of a lie. One of the questions on their online job application was, how would you bring a sprinkle of stardust to each customer's dining experience? What the fuck are you supposed to put for that? Like, I just put salem cocaine. That's all I could think of. That's literally all that I fucking had. It's in there back from them dickheads either. It's horrible. Right? Like, I've had one job in my entire life, really, apart from this one job. It was John Lewis. The John Lewis in Liverpool one. I worked there for, like, two days. It was horrible. Like, <laughs> first day, made a girl cry. It wasn't my fault. Uh, second day, <laughs> me boss came up to me. She said, hey, listen, Adam, I'm going to have to send you home. Now, this was my first job, so I thought it was a good thing. <laughs> so I was like, oh, really? <laughs> nice one, Jan. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I'm a bit stoned, so I really appreciate that. <laughs> See you Monday. <laughs> and she pulled me back. She said, no, Adam, it's, it's a bad thing. You're in trouble. And I was like, well, what, what have I done? She said, well, what you've done, Adam, is you've come into work with stubble on your face. And you're not allowed on the shop floor with stubble on your face. You have to be clean shaven or have a full beard. It's in the partner's handbook. So I'm going to have to send you home. Now, I don't know if you can see this, right? <laughs> I don't know if you can see this, this chin that puberty forgot, right? <laughs> But there's no way that this is ever growing stubble, right? The pitiful amount I've got on here. I've been growing it since January, right? Like in January 2014. This is how long I've managed to get it. And she was clearly taking the piss. And I was in a bit of a bad mood anyway. So I just looked up at it and said, really? Huh. Well, what the fuck are you still doing here then? <laughs> Which may sound quite funny on stage in front of a tribunal. It's a bit more awkward. It really is. You know what I mean? Like, 